Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Carolyn and I'm the mom of these twin baby girls named Summer and Winter. We've just taken our very first flight with them all the way from Denver to Germany. Our first flight was about nine and a half hours and the second flight was one hour. We did have a five hour layover, which was a little difficult, but they actually did really good and I'm so proud. So in this video, I'm just sharing all about how it went and some tips that we learned along the way in case you are looking to travel with your family as well. I hope you find this helpful. And I hope that you'll like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. So from start to finish, we used the mountain buggy bag riders and I will link them below. They were definitely the best decision that we could have made for getting around the airport and just having easy transportation for the girls that kept them happy and kept us light. It was also extremely interesting traveling during December of 2020 because of everything going on with COVID, many of the stores were closed in the airport. So wrap your arms around me like a borderline. Hi, we found our gate. There's an airplane out there. Girls are being so good. Hanging out here waiting for the airplane. Yeah. And obviously adults were wearing masks, but luckily because our kids are nine months old, they are under the age of two, they are not required to wear masks because it is a breathing hazard for them. The first flight was actually pretty empty. What is that? A new toy? Yeah! <laughs> say hi. Can you say hello? Yeah. You ready for a big flight? <laughs> The airline that we booked all of our flights through was Lufthansa, and it was really nice. They gave the girls both little airplane toys. It was super cute. Also, while we were waiting to take off, we were able to allow the girls to sit in the empty seats next to us. We did not book those seats, so they were actually booked as lap seats, but they were able to hang out there just until we left. And then once we actually took off, they sat on our laps. I don't know about you, but being my first time flying with a baby, I was curious about what it looked like to have a lap seat belt. So they basically have their own little seat belt in red, which attaches to my seat belt in black. Kind of cool, very simple and it makes me feel very secure holding my baby. During takeoff, we made sure to feed the girls with their bottles. The suction helps their ears pop during the change in elevation. And then once we were in the air, they actually set up the bassinets for the girls and they luckily did fit in the bassinets perfectly, though I don't think that they would fit if we flew much later because they are tall babies. One other thing I'll add about the bassinet seats is that we did have to pay extra to book the specific location so we could have the bassinet. It's so extreme and I don't really care, I don't really care, yeah. Before leaving for our trip, I did quite a bit of research, of course, about flying with babies, and I found out that it would be good to have some type of earmuff or headphone for the loudness that the flight has, and we tried putting these on them, and even though they're stretchy and comfortable and adjustable, the girls did not like them. So we ended up not using them, and they stayed in their little bag. Hey, at least it comes with a cute little travel bag and doesn't take up too much space. We also brought the girls sleep socks and pajamas so that that would help them know that it's bedtime, just part of their normal routine to sleep in that. Frame 
Beach Boy. It's such a funny way to tell me what you're searching life. Well, I'm a mad woman. Sorry, I don't come from my... Our first flight left at 2.15 Mountain Time, which is usually around the time that the girls take an afternoon nap. So that was really nice that we were able to get going and then immediately put them down for a nap, which gave us time to hang out, relax, settle in, and eat some food that the plane brought. I don't know about you, but I've never been super into eating plain food. I mean, I gave everything a try, but wasn't a huge fan. I think the salad and the wine were the best part. That's one thing I will say I love about Lufthansa is that they supply wine and beer while you're flying. They used to do Bailey's as well, but right now they're not doing that because of COVID. Another thing I liked is that there were several bathrooms nearby us and I was able to go into each one to see which one had the biggest changing table. And this one actually did have a very good sized changing table. So if you are flying with a baby, I would recommend scoping out your options because one bathroom might be significantly bigger than another. Of course, after they had their afternoon nap, this was a perfect time to hang out with them, get their energy out, and then of course change into their bedtime clothes to help them with the transition and know that it's time to go to bed soon. We actually did bring multiple clothing changes for them, so you'll see throughout the video that they're wearing different outfits, and that was partially because we just wanted to be as clean as we could and have options. Plus, once we arrived on our final plane, I wanted to have them dress cute to see my in-laws, so we had a final outfit that we will change into later, and you'll see that. It's also a really good idea that we brought lots of different snacks for the girls. I think they definitely enjoyed having different foods and it kept them busy. So we started with purees just because that's what we've been doing for a lot of our feeds lately. And having it in a squeeze pack actually was something I would definitely recommend. Much easier than spoon feeding. We brought bibs with us but ended up not using them. And then of course we also did bottle feeding with some milk, we did water, and then I'll show you a couple other snacks that we brought. Handheld snacks I think should be fed one at a time. That was helpful so that they didn't make a mess. These are the little things that we brought with us, just easy and simple. We also brought multiple toys with us. Of course, you can only bring how much you can carry, but the ones that we brought were ones that had multiple different textures and things that I thought might keep them busy. Okay, I'm skipping ahead. They just woke up from their nighttime sleep, or should I say nighttime nap? <laughs> it was only a few hours that they were able to go down and sleep, but they did really well. Going to sleep, they did cry, but we held their hands and that seemed to help milk also helped and they were able to sleep until the airplane turned the lights back on 
the time that we put them down was around the normal time that they would go to bed. And I think sticking to that schedule was also helpful. We were pretty much the last ones off the plane and that's just because we had a couple extra things to pack up so if you are flying with kids definitely allow yourself time to get on and off. We're in an elevator! Yeah! Hi. <laughs> and we are at our next gate! <laughs> One thing I wanted to share is these Medela wipes are really nice for disinfecting bottles if you're traveling with babies. We brought these with us on our road trip over the summer when we were traveling for a month in our VW van and they cleaned the bottles very nicely. And then we also brought these fruit flavored wipes just in case we needed to incentivize them to take the bottle during takeoff or landing. That's you! Yeah! And you just got a clean diaper. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he likes seeing yourself in the mirror. I swear it never fails. <laughs> Showing them a mirror always makes them happy. So I did this on the plane. I did this during our layover. It was so much fun for them. Face. I think I have one of these phases too. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, our layover was five hours. They did great. You're doing good hanging out. <laughs> yeah. Jen, you're silly goose. <laughs> Sweet summer. You're cute. To help the time pass on our layover, we walked around duty free and we also walked around. A area of the airport that was completely empty and the girls actually fell asleep while walking around. I mean of course they're tired it's the middle of the night for them and they're doing such a good job but we walked all the way to the end of one of the terminals that was completely empty and I will show you very soon it looked crazy so odd flying during times like this. I can't stress enough how weird it was. <laughs> 
fact is traveling during this time, all I can say is I'm so thankful that we were able to travel and visit our family in Germany and be able to introduce the girls to their oma and opa for the very first time in person. It took a lot of prayers to get us here. While we were exploring the empty airport, we even found a little movie theater. How fun is this? <laughs> So during our layover, we hung out and actually watched The Secret Life of Pets after both girls took a little bit of a nap. We didn't finish the movie, of course, but it was a nice little break to just hang out, do something, and I also changed both of the girls into new outfits while we hung out. So I took one at a time to the restroom and got them into their second flight outfit. It's not that it was 100% necessary to change them into a new outfit, but I like to have a fresh new outfit for a second flight. It just feels nice, and if you have time, why not? And then when we arrive, we look a, bit, a little bit fresher as well. We don't look like we did when we got off of our 10 hour long flight the first round. We're on the next flight. Yeah, we're on the next flight. <laughs> yeah. This time we're on a window. You can see outside. Pretty cool. There you are. Yeah. <laughs> and your sisters behind us. Hi, baby. <laughs> For this flight, they didn't seat us next to each other, but that's okay because it's only an hour. This flight also had more people on it. Our first flight was practically empty. We were in the air my little one winter fell asleep immediately and of course summer was completely awake the entire flight but if i'm being honest there's a little part of me that loved that she was sleeping on my lap i mean i don't feel like that happens anymore that happened a lot when they were a newborn but not so much anymore at 10 months old fancy elevator <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, baby. Hey, all of our bags arrived. Now we just need to find the stroller and the oversized stuff. You learned something new. You seem to be magnetic. Good today oh, and yesterday it was a long day you girls did so good i'm so proud of you thanks so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed seeing our experience and i hope that some of the tips and things that we learned along the way will help you if you're trying to travel with your family and I do hope that you'll subscribe to my channel. It would absolutely mean the world to me. On my channel, I post all about family travel, cleaning motivation, and just being a twin mom. <laughs> Thanks so much, and I will see you in my next video. Happy holidays.